spot check. Yankee Stadium, right? Got to sleep 45 degree at angle uh, marble, uh, angle uh, 45 degree angle marble edge, right? Very low, less than 18 inches, right? So it goes swoop and right around that one, two, three, four, right around the, almost exactly at the fifth tree, which is right here. It's there's an angle in the ledge and it starts to even though the grading continues down, it starts to go up. What I like is that if you were nice and so inclined, you can bust a move on this portion here. And this is to me where the big wheel blading comes into play, right? Obviously, I can put a piece of plywood here, but if I had bigger wheels and I wanted to just come do a quick macchio, I can bust a macchio. Um, so yeah, this is the exterior ledge at Yankee Stadium. I'll try to show you guys a bunch of different spots in this area. Right? So even if you wanted to, you could roll. If you were nice enough, maybe hit the outside here to the drop, right? That's a good eight foot drop. And we'll show you some more funky shit. All right, part two, Yankee Stadium. You got these rails, there's kinks on the outsides and then regular handrails on the inside of the cheap construction. No, actually this is pretty durable construction with the light fixture built in underneath, right? What I think is also amazing is that you have this sheet metal or this thin piece of metal railing, which you can potentially grind. You can also potentially roll on it if you were that nice. And then I love that there's the kinked outside ledge. So you could potentially, you know, let's say you had a launch ramp, you can launch to a ramp, you can ramp launch to grind and then come all the way down this magnificent ledge. You have it on both sides, right? Babe Ruth Plaza. So you got it left and right, hot shit, almost stepped in. Obviously you could do a maneuver this way as well. Let's say you gap the set and then you wanted to grind this ledge. You could do it either in either direction. And if you were gapping the set, you're gapping, uh, let's see, we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight and eight. And this side we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got eight and eight and nine and nine. Uh, let's just show you the top. That's what it looks like from the top. Right. This is what it would be like to grind the outside. And this is the side I would love to fuck around on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just making sure, right? So from right here, you can see how easy it is to hit that ledge. Right? It's not very hard. So yeah, nine and nine because the grading slopes. But yeah. Jank. Peace, love, blessings. Yankee Stadium. Uh, at uh, East 161st Street, Babe Ruth Plaza. Spot check. Are we, are we out? I guess I should give you guys a quick view of this side. All right, so clearly you can hit this ledge. The same way you have a ledge sloping down in that direction, you have grading sloping down in this direction, you can hit that ledge as well. Again. This is wide enough for you to roll and then do a maneuver right here in the middle and then gap out. Not a huge drop, but super possible. And I think those are the main things at Yankee Stadium to me that were worthwhile and skatable. Uh, I see some things in the distance, but I'm gonna keep it at that and cut this short. All right, continuing Yankee Stadium, there are these very long planter guardrails that are, I don't know, 12 inches in diameter, but there's a bunch of them so you could get pretty funky on them and they're big and wide enough that you could, you know, there's a bunch of them where you could do a couple of lines. So I'm just gonna add that to the mix. All right, Yankee Stadium again. This is the, right, so that's the, um, the what's his face, the fucking Babe Ruth Plaza section with the double sets. This is the far end, the train station is back there. This is the far end next to the uh, Deegan entrance, right? But what I'm noticing is you've got a nice, relatively average height ledge. You know, it's not real height, real height's maybe, you know, 36 inches. Um, but it's not just that you have the ledge, it's the fact that you have the top of the ledge without any railing on it. So you could set slide it. You can't do much on that side, right? Obviously you can put wood down. But the point I'm looking at is that you could set slide, you can dark slide, and you can, like, you can come here. Imagine, imagine coming, right? Don't set slide across and out that way. Obviously you have the ventilation from the subway brake or whatever vent that is, but this is what it looks like from this side. And it slopes up slightly, so there's a little bit of work to do. 